Hello everybody, welcome back to the ASUS ROG YouTube channel. This is JJ once again, and we've got something pretty cool for you. We're gonna be doing actually our hands-on with uh, one of our partner's products in the Dynatron RC17 uh, heatsink uh, fan assembly. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and actually crack this guy open and take a look at the actual R17 cooler from Dynatron. So this is actually a cooler that is focused actually for the Sandy Bridge E platform, so for X79 series motherboards uh, and for Sandy, base, uh, Sandy Bridge E base series processors, such as like a 3960 uh, CPU. So we're going to go ahead and pop this guy out and take a look and see what comes included with the unit. So first and foremost, we can actually see that we actually have the fan here. Uh, we'll jump actually to this fan here in a moment. Next, we actually have the heatsink assembly itself for the unit and uh, then from there the rest is pretty much just an empty box. So we're going to go ahead and take a look and see what some of the unique characteristics are. So right off the bat we can see here that uh, we have one of the telltale signs of it being a native 2011 actually CPU heatsink because we actually have the four screws already affixed to the base of the plate and this allows for very easy CPU uh, installation. Essentially there's no more push pins so we could go ahead and mount this directly to the CPU socket then from there all that would be required is pretty much screwing down on the four actual screws and that would be the rest of your installation. Now one of the great things actually about this unit is you can see it actually comes pre-affixed with actually rubber grommets. So if we take a look right here we have one, two, three, four actual rubber grommets. And these actually are directly attached to the actual heat sink body assembly. Now this works great because what it allows us to do is take our actual fan and go ahead and attach it directly without any type of actually uh, tools. So see here, we'll go ahead and just line up the grommets with the thread holes. And all we would have to do is essentially just pull in. And one more. And that actually will then secure the fan directly to the actual body. And the great thing about that is that these actually uh, rubber grommets, silicon grommets, actually are going to absorb uh, vibration from this as it rotates. Now this fan actually is very quiet. Um, in most situations, you're gonna probably be looking at some somewhere between a normal operational level of, I'd say 1250 to about 1450. Uh, the base rotation about 20% is about 1000 RPM. And then all the way up at the highest level, it's about 2500 RPM. But the other great item is that you see here is it actually takes a four pin fan. As every ASUS X79 motherboard comes included with a four pin fan header, and we support full control parameters for this, you can take advantage of our very robust fan control. So you can go ahead and pretty much tune your custom profile preset in terms of the actual rotation, a speed relative to the temperature uh, because this is actually a four pin fan header. So in regards to the cooling performance, um, if we actually take a look here at the back, you can see that it has a high density uh, fin design. So this allows us to go ahead a lot of dissipation from the unit. And if we take a look here at the top, you can see that we also actually have the top of the heat pipes, where if we flip the unit, Actually below we can see that we actually have four heat pipes. This is great because these U-shaped heat pipes, which are more effective at being able to take uh, heat directly from the actual IHS, so the actual CPU package, and go directly into the actual copper pipes, into the uh, heat sink assembly, and then be dissipated by actual fan. So this solution is rated up to about 160 watts. So in most situations, this is going to work great with something like she like our P9 X79 standard series motherboard and, and offer you, of course, solid quality cooling uh, for stock operation and even actually for moderate level overclocking. Uh, I'd say this is a great CPU that would be targeted at our users of like our TPU switch. So generally looking at maybe about a 4 to about 4.3 gigahertz as you would still be able to effectively cool and keep the CPU uh, well within normal operating ranges. So overall, this kind of gives you a little bit of a quick overview uh, in regards to the R17 from Dynatron, a great budget series cooler. Gives you a lot of performance with a great design. Uh, for users that are looking for more information regarding to some of the performance test results that we have, uh, you can, for one, head over to actually Dynatron's website. They have a very well detailed site that gives a lot of information about fan curves, fan speeds, and some of the thermal dissipation properties. Uh, but as always, you can go ahead and head over to ASUS ROG forums. We'll actually have some detailing for that. Uh, in addition to that, if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure to drop them here at the page. As, as always, thank you for watching.